Hey folks, Realtor Ron Klotzman today. Today I am out uh, in Culver City. The nearest intersections are Washington Boulevard and Inglewood Boulevard. And these are some lovely homes and um, here in Culver City. And not only do I know and appreciate this neighborhood, and uh, I've had clients looking for property in this neighborhood, but I also walk my dog here, as you can see. Uh, I live about seven, eight minutes away, but I know the area very well. And I'd like to show it to you. Oh, I'm not really verbal today, am I? <laughs> After my early morning workout, I'm pretty tired. And then the dog walk, and then we get off to work. But first we have to film. So as you see, like many neighborhoods in Los Angeles, this one's, there's a lot of construction going on, as usual. There's a lot of, there's the DMV is across the street there, across Washington, we'll see it in a minute. It's restaurants, very family oriented. Uh, a lot of families, as I said, a lot of dogs. It's a very uh, tree-lined neighborhood. There's three or four streets in a row. There's from Berryman, Minerva, Bledsoe, Coolidge, and as I said, uh, bordered by Inglewood Boulevard and Washington Boulevard. So we've got our presidents represented. There's a beautiful brick home here. He likes the grass. So I don't have to talk too much about it other than show you the neighborhood. And like I said, very close to freeway access because the 405, actually the next street up, the next major street past here is Sautel and uh, that's where the freeway entrance is. Past that is Sepulveda. So, it's very convenient because we're very close to the freeway entrances here and right in the heart of Culver City. So you're, oh, 15 minutes from the beach as far as driving time, 15 minutes from Marina Del Rey. Uh, like I say, when traffic's moving, that is moving well as it is now. Close to the freeways, close to Culver City Arts District, not far from Century City. I mean, really. Los Angeles is a town where if you drive around on Christmas Day, or maybe even New Year's Day, you'll find out. You can get anywhere in a relatively short span of time when nobody's on the roads, or when the roads are moving, I should say. Um, just, you know, the problem is that rush hour starts about 2.30 and lasts till, oh gosh, I don't know. I try to stay off the freeways during that time. I mean, for many, many years, I couldn't. But I do now, so rush our ass last till about oh, I guess sometimes 9 p.m., 8 8 30. So you've got a good six hours there where it's quite difficult, and then rush hour, you know, in the morning till around 11 a.m. So then there's a window of three or four hours when it's not too bad. But Los Angeles is so desirable that there are just more people here than the city was designed to hold, but that goes with a lot of urban centers. Some places, like Detroit, are losing people. California uh, is losing some people, but Los Angeles, I mean, Los Angeles County alone, there are 10 million people. And I believe just over 35 million, maybe 40 million in the entire state. So just think of that. 10 million people in just one county. That's considerably more people than in a, a lot of states. So that's a lot of people, and this is LA County. First, we've got an apartment building on the corner here. So this is Coolidge Street that we're on. So we've got an apartment building on the corner of Coolidge and Washington, Coolidge Avenue. And I know where he wants to go. Well, I don't know where he wants to go, but it doesn't really matter. He's been where he wants to go. 
we're going this way. So here you see it's a mix of got a Indian restaurant market there, got a car repair there, so it's all uh, you know, it's a really mixed apartment building here. It's a Serenity Spa here. So we've got and like Los Angeles itself, we've got a mix of a lot of different things. As you can see up ahead there, there's the freeway, 405 freeway, which actually seems to be moving. It seems to be moving slowly, but it's moving. I don't think it's at 65 miles an hour, but it's moving. Animal hospital. Oh yeah, you smell the puppies, huh? You smell the dogs? Yeah, smell the dogs. Come on. Come on. I like this restaurant here. This kind of reminds me of San Francisco. I don't know why, but this patio area. Next to an old party supply market with an even older sign out front. Shelly Jumper Party Supply. Oh, I guess that's not an older sign, it's for the party supply place. It's just been there a while. So as you see, a nice mix of commercial, industrial, and residential. And let's see, focus on the freeway up there. There it is. There's the freeway. Hey, if it's moving, it's good enough for me. But uh, like I say, I'm not always fortunate enough to take surface streets, but I try. Exodus Recovery over there, that's uh, drugs and alcohol rehab or uh, hospital thing. There's one in Malibu too. Oh, you know where we're going, huh? We're back on Minerva Street now. Excuse me, Minerva Avenue. There's the DMV. Oh, what's going on? No line? I wonder if they're closed for some reason because there's always a long line there that stretches around the block. That's very strange. I've never seen that. Only on Sundays. Hmm. Quite and to say it's not Sunday. So we were on Coolidge Avenue. Now we're on the next block, Minerva Avenue. There's Bledsoe and Berryman. And uh, they're all like this. Very quiet neighborhood. And you know, this is interesting too because once. Where do you want to go? He's dragging me. Once you get off of. Uh, once you're a few houses away, you know, not even that far from. Washington, from Washington, yeah, from Washington, come on, from Washington Boulevard, you don't really hear the, it's just kind of a gentle hum of the street, and even quieter at night. So why am I filming this alley? Well, there's the DMV, and there's Washington Boulevard. Okay, folks, so there's a Culver City neighborhood for you. Realtor Ron Klotzman here, my pleasure to show it to you. If there's anything I can help you with real estate related, please let me know. Be sure in a hurry. You know who to call. You know who to contact. I'm not sitting behind my computer all day. I'm out in the field, as it were. I'm out in the neighborhoods of this city, which I know and love. Okay, folks. Uh, I will see you at the next location. 
contact me if you need anything at all real estate related or anything at all about Los Angeles. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you. Bye-bye.